welcome to Innovative Amazing Science with Sunana. I believe and I hope that you are doing great. So am I. And it is always a pleasure to see everyone out there. I'm back again with another real life experience of my childhood. Although this experience of my childhood was not so entertaining, but still, I just learned many things out of this experience. It so happened that I was in my grade 3 and I had fever. And later, it was diagnosed that I was having typhoid fever. So I had to like obey all the rules, regulations. I had to take those medicines and complete bed rest and all those stuff. Things were very difficult because as a child, I was not allowed to play or neither go out. I was all packed inside that four corners of the room. But later on, I had to obey my parents and the doctors, like whatever they prescribed and the medications and all, I had to take so that I could recover very fast. And finally, I recovered from that typhoid fever. So later, I asked my parents, like, who is the main culprit of this uh, fever? So my parents started to laugh and say, what are you going to do if you come to know about the culprits? And anyways, you cannot do anything to those culprits. So I was a little bit worried and I asked, why, why can't I do anything to those culprits? So my father smiled and said, because you cannot see them. Because you cannot see them. So this line, I was like a little bit worried. Like we can see everyone, but then how can I not see those culprits? So my father further explained that you got typhoid because of a microorganism and that is a bacteria. And this bacteria, or if you are spe very specific, the microorganisms cannot be seen through your naked eyes. To see those microorganisms, you need to have a microscope. And usually, no one keeps a microscope at home because we don't require a microscope. So you can like uh, see the microscope in the science lab or in the school and so on and so forth. But he just smiled again and he said, are you interested to see a microorganism? I was like pretty interested. I said, okay, fine, I'm excited. But then how can we see that? So he started demonstrating uh, like uh, to show me a microorganism. And the real fun started. We both enjoyed thoroughly. And I was like, I can say that I was so shocked and astonished to see the microorganisms, like uh, how it was moving and all and it was looking deadly. So today I'm here to do the same activity with everyone. So to watch those microorganisms, you have to stay tuned with me. Are you ready? Let's get started. So the things required are two glasses, a syringe vial, laser light, and this is just a stand, whatever stand you are having, you can use that. I just took this because the size is appropriate to adjust tape. You can take any tape you are having and of course tap water I have taken. So my first step is I'll take some water that is the tap water in this syringe. Okay. If you observe carefully a drop is coming out from the syringe vial. Can you see the drop? I'll show you a closure view. A drop is coming. So we have to be very careful because we are going to focus our laser light on that single drop. So slowly we are going to keep this syringe vial between the glasses. So we are done with this part. Says I'm going to take this laser light and take this tape i'll switch my laser light on press it and wind this tape 
around the switch okay can you see my laser light is on then I am going to keep this stand here I'll keep the laser light and I'll do the adjustment in such a way so that the laser light should focus on the drop of water so I'll just move from here and try to do the arrangement so now I have adjusted my laser light and I'm trying to focus to that single drop so that the light from the laser is going to fall on the drop and this is the white screen which I have kept so that we will see what exactly we want to see so for that I'll just switch off my lights and let's have a look So just look at the screen what is happening if you observe carefully you can see the microorganisms are moving but I'll show you a closure view now just try to focus properly and you can see the microorganisms and just observe how they are moving can you see it's lovely to watch you have to be a little bit focused because I know it's a little difficult to observe but you can see it just look at the screen and how lovely it is looking it's just spectacular to observe these microorganisms and without any tensions they are just moving about look at the just look at them how they are moving you can see them in groups also at the corner and at the center there is a huge one just try to observe and you'll notice everything so just observe again carefully and it is always amazing to watch these microorganisms just look at the corners you can see them in groups just observe the corners you can find them so these microorganisms are enjoying happily they are moving about and doing whatever they feel like and it is always a pleasure to watch them but if they are in the water and we drink that water then we are going to fall sick for sure but keep observing them it's lovely if you have a microscope at home if you observe them you can see the structures properly and here just because we are doing at home you can see them as red and black structures because we are using the laser light but if you want to see them actually you need to have a microscope just look at that microorganism how lovely it is moving about so now I guess you can try out this activity at home and just watch these microorganisms see now I can see two and then there are three and so many are coming see they just want to meet us I guess so anyway see the devil one is here can you see so now you can try this activity at home and see lots of microorganisms but you have to focus properly to observe them you need to focus properly and if you are having a microscope that would be excellent you can see the structures also properly here although we could see the microorganisms but the structures with fine details we could not see it because we are using the laser light and all but a microscope would give a very fine structures of these type of microorganisms and now I would say that we all must be careful enough because 
we saw so many microorganisms in a single drop of water so think about a glass of water so we need to be very careful and we need to wash our hands and all the safety measures and we should sanitize everything if you enjoyed this activity do like it and do not forget to subscribe by pressing the bell icon which is right there on your screen and if you wish to share your experience with everyone do put it in the comment section or do write a mail so that in my future upcoming videos i can share your experience through an experiment with everyone till then take care bye bye